Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We got the Teal Mask DLC that has just dropped. Our Rodan phone is ringing, so let's answer it. What up? Hello, hello, Hayden. This is Jack. Uh, hi, Mr. Jack. How's it going? Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, Hayden? Your name was one of those chosen to attend. You'll get to go study and experience the great outdoors of the East, the land of Akitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one, getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. It sounds pretty good, of course. You don't have to take part. This kind of chance isn't likely to come again, so uh, you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. I am very interested. As you see, my character is uh, looking pretty ready. Got my uh, sort of teal hair. <laughs> so uh, let's go to the uh, school entrance hall and go and get started. Very excited for this DLC. Got very high hopes for it because the Sword and Shield DLC I thought was really good. So let's hope the uh, Scarlet and Violet DLC even better. All right, so are we gonna speak to you? Hello. What's up? Like your earrings as well. Hmm, are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Uh, Hayden, ma'am? Hayden, huh? Well, aren't you a polite one? You're positively dazzling. Oh, I try. Oh, and you even have a terror orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? I'm pretty exceptional, sometimes. Oh, but here I go and go on and on. And I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Uh, Miss Briere. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, uh, Hayden. The last day, Fault Steve. <laughs> what a lucky scamp you are. I'm getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring here. I'm sure happy for you. I wish I could go too. <clears throat> oh. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss. Uh, is it Briere? Briere? But I got a bit carried away. Uh, well, as Mr. Jacques so kindly stated for me, my name is Briere. I'm a teacher over over at Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region. Oh, you know, Miss Briar helps uh, set the curriculum there. Unova, eh? More Gen 5 hints. <laughs> this year is uh, Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We're we'll heading to uh, Kitakami, a land known for its uh, pictur picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also uh, something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy uh, present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah yes, well, there's not much I can do about the that without permission from the uh, Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already uh, put it all in uh, proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon. Uh, well, mm. <laughs> Right, yeah, about that. Oh, sorry, I didn't have to go all about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. Think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app. If you get out your phone. Oh, okay. Sweet. Yes, please. So the... Kirakami Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex app. Nice. And there we go, all done. Now you can go uh, wild registering all the uh, Pokemon that you find around Kirakami too. Oh, and don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mum. You just go and have fun. Sounds good. And off he goes. <laughs> Mr. Jacques is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Hayden. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying. Or long bus rides. I get a bit car sick in the back of buses, but uh, let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? I'm ready right now, let's go! Alright, are you ready to set out for Kitakami, Hayden? Yes. Off we go, great. We're set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you are all chosen for this trip by a lottery, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is uh, is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun on my own while I'm out while I'm at it. Just so you're aware. Okay, sounds good. By the way, do you know of the Scarlet Book? I know of it. 
As it should, it was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Scarlet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine. They even have his original manuscript. Ooh. Do, uh, do share. But look here. So these are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. So I separated from the research team in the creator's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than a gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. A disc Pokemon? I have sensitively named this creature Terrapagos. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved in even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that general, not the general public believed him. But that's going to be, I guess, about like part two of the DLC. But it's uh, my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. I've been in there multiple times. That's fine. It will be fine. All I need to do is uh, now focus on the work that's in front of me. And Miss Briere, we're ready to go. Looks like the gang's all here. Alright everyone, to the land of Kitakami! I'm trying to think, is there a school in Unova that you can actually see now in... If you play black and white? Got like Sharon's school I guess, like the gym, that count as one? You got that one school after the first gym, that like preschool one? The Hidden Treasure Area Zero. Hey, Part 1. The Teal Mask. I've got to say, out of the two DLCs, I think this one most excites me. Just from what we've seen so far. So we're finally here. My butt is killing me after all those hours sitting. First the plane, then that bus. <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. We haven't lost anyone along the way. Uh, no, all here. Then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experience and learning opportunities you'll have out in the nature. Okay. It's looking pretty nice. It's actually my first time here too. Wow, the rice fields really are just dazzling. Up ahead is Mosui Town. That'll be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. So Miss Briere, I don't feel so good. Uh oh, well that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness, so that would be me, <laughs> 100%. So why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sight of these fields. Sound good. Now Hayden, I have a little request for you. Oh? Could you run ahead to the community center in Mosui and let the caretaker know we're here? It'd also be great if you could explain that one of the students is feeling unwell. I can do that. I know better count on you. On your way then, I'll look after your poor travel body here. Alright, let's go explore then. See for me, I can go on long like car journeys as long as I'm driving. If I'm not driving, I've got to be in the passenger seat. Because if I'm in the back seat, I don't know what it is, but when I'm in the back seat, I just feel... Oh, I can't ride Coridon? Oh, okay. I just feel, uh, yeah, a little sick. Just looking at all the Pokemon we can find around here, click everything we can get. Also, I should see what the uh, levels are, because I was a little bit worried about the level scaling. So if we just get into a battle, we'll see how strong they're going to be. Oh, oh, a little bit of lag. Because I know you can start this DLC the moment you start the treasure hunt, which is like, what, like an hour and a half into the game? Level 55, okay, it's, uh... Not, not too bad, we're level 72 and my whole team's 70. I'll just show you guys my team as well, just in case you're wondering what we got. Pretty much the same for my playthrough. Uh, apart from, uh, I went to go and um, catch a cadet for um, this playthrough, this, well, this like DLC, to get a Serral Edge, because I'm playing on Scarlet now. And on the way, if you follow me on Twitter, or you would have seen, oh, there's a cave there. I actually found a... Um, a shiny Luxray. So I got the Suey and Zora, because got it with the DLC. Why not? Got Tinker Tonks, I absolutely love this. 
Got Farigaraf, because I absolutely love this Pokemon so much. We got our starter Pokemon, Meowth Garada, and I found a Shiny Shinx, so using the Shiny Luxray. And then we got our uh, Serral Edge, because it just, I love the look of this Pokemon. So badass. Let's go and grab this. What do we got? Nasty plot. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we can't ride a uh, Coridon or Maridon. I have to just be running nice and slow. But can we actually open up the map and check um, what the area is going to look like? Map. So press the L and R or L or R button while uh, the map app is open to switch between different maps. Flying taxi will take you to any location. Okay. So that's obviously uh, Paldea region. And uh, it's how big it's going to be. So it's not that big. Unless we get extra parts we can go to. But it doesn't seem that big. At the moment. Got some raids. I'm just hoping the levels get a little bit higher for trainer battles. Like if we can get to like level 70 against trainers, that'd be great. Because I was it? Is that a trainer there we can test out? Because when you finish the story, like when you do the, like, the post-game bit, you fight Nimona at the end of the, the tournament, everyone's level like 70. So I thought 70 would be a good level now. Let's do this, yo! Eek, you're one of those people from Paldea, aren't you? I am. Alright, got a festival girl. What you got for us? Any new Pokemon? Got a Surskit. That looks pretty easy to beat. Okay, level 54. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to be a bit OP. So, my backup plan was to potentially just catch a whole new team. Oh, this is laggy. Very laggy. But yeah, if I can find some like new Pokemon, like we know we got uh, the new Sinistee form. We got, um, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. The, the, uh, Flaplin, is it called? The new, like, uh, Applin Evolution? Bang! The slowest Shadow Ball ever. <laughs> Chingling should be easy to be able to dodge that. Ooh. Also, apologies if uh, I kind of like mess up a few of my words while talking. Still waking up a little bit, didn't get the most sleep. Here I was thinking. Oh yeah, the game's gonna launch, you know, probably around 1, 2 p.m. I'll be ready for it. Nah, 2 a.m. <laughs> so uh, I haven't had the most sleep in the world. It's funny, because I have my sleep schedule all messed up, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna fix my sleep schedule already for this, and then I fixed my sleep schedule, and now <laughs> it's just, if I kept my sleep schedule bad, it would all be good. Oh, this guy's looking like he's straight out of Team Skull. But like Guzmo with a chain. The outfit, I like it. All right, so the Ruffian. What oh, you got for us? Whoopa! Gonna be destroying everyone, man. Alright. Bit of malice. Yeah, I love, uh, love Sarah. I mean, obviously, this is our Zorok, but. Dude. Just. Sarah Ledge. It's amazing. Such a good Pokemon. Bit of malice. That's one thing I was mainly excited about the DLC again. Like, just wanted to use all these like brand new Gen 9 Pokemon again. Get the most out of it. All right, easy peasy. I'm gonna grab the item right there. Get some prize money, and we'll just climb up this. Oh, come on! <laughs> I need, I need my, <laughs> I need my Karido. Oh yeah, Karido on the. Get up there. Let's go up this little bit. There we go. All right. It looks pretty cool. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab this and we'll go ahead up. So not all the uh, items are too exciting. But all these like candies we pick up would be kind of good for. Um... Oh, it's corfish. Wonder what that was for a second. So what is that? 
I'm hoping there'll be like some brand new Pokemon for us to discover as well. Alright. I mean, that looks awesome. Oh, there's the, uh, they're the new students, right? Well, from Blueberry, Blueberry Academy. I try to play, stay as uh, spoiler free as possible going into these uh, two DLCs. Sis, look, there, there's one now. Are they brother, sister? Hey, oh. How's it going? So, you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? That's me. Whoa, way cool. Hush, Kieran. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I uh, can't just let an outsider like you wander into Mosui Town. Why not, man? If you insist on coming in, you have to battle me first. Come on, sis. You just want to battle. Making this big fuss over nothing. I told you to hush. <laughs> just ignore my little brother. Oh man. Well, this like tracksuit though, but uh, all right. Let's do this. Get in position. You're asking for it. I thought we're standing really far away. Gonna have some real good fun with you. Bring it on. I like the music. Oh, you got a Poochiana? Okay. Uh, not the best, because we get hit with a dark type move, that's gonna suck. But welcome to Kirikami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt! I wanna eat dirt, man. Level 60, okay. Uh. I think I'm just gonna switch. Just gonna tinker tong. Go for a nice little play rough. I'm mean, sure it'd be fine to go for like a Terra Blast, but. <laughs> just in case. I always forget how big this hammer is. <laughs> if I hit that Puccino with the, with the hammer, that's not gonna end well. Well, for Puccino, for us, it's gonna end very well. How's that for a first taser kid of Kami? Not that I'm enjoying this or anything. Uh, how about I just uh, smash with this big hammer? Bam! Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you know about type matchups? Huh, obviously. Honestly, I haven't played Scarlet and Violet since um, it released back last year. Was Tinkerton's hammer always this big? <laughs> it feels really, really big. But come on, be a Lolan Vulpix. Is it a Q and it's a normal one? I mean, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I mean, play rough will be fine. Got that quick claw. Bam! So, you, uh, do you not know about type matchups? I do, but I just thought, you know, the level difference. I'll do enough damage. Oh, Will-O-Wisp. Oh, you suck. Do not want to be burnt. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I mean, even burnt, I should take you. I was go for a Gigaton Hammer. Just want to see you get smushed. Oh, bam! <laughs> Goodbye, Vulpix. Alright, what's your last Pokemon? That burn really sucks. Uh, oh! Poltergeist. The new one. I don't know what type you are. I assume it's gotta be like... A little bit ghost. Right? Ghost... Something? No idea what type you are. I saw the reveal for it. Just the picture. I didn't watch the trailer. I was just trying to stay as spoiler free as possible. But look at it! That's actually kind of cute. Uh. I feel like you might terrestrialize, maybe? I'll go for a Shadow Claw first. Yeah, super effective. So it's got to be like part ghost. Like ghost, uh, I don't know. If I find one in the wild, I'll catch it and I can find out. Yo, 
You, who are you? Champion of Paldea, saver of the world, you know, the usual. Wowzers, <laughs> wowzers. You wanna beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have uh, been able to beat me. All right, chill, fine. I guess you pass, barely. Since I've got no choice, I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I... Uh, no thanks. Oi, what are you doing? Causing a ruckus out here. Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki. We're out of here. But, but I... What up, sis? Hey, oh. Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of those students from the Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Mosui Town. And a fair few other uh, things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. Hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Uh, a little bit, but... Yeah, they were. <laughs> I hardly know what to do with uh, the two of them, especially that Carmine. Always been a handful, that one. I apologise if she gave you a hard time. Alright, well, what's that? Remember your group felt ill down by the bus stop? Better get over there and give them a hand so they can make it to make it into town. Not really that far, to be fair, but I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in at the community centre. We'll catch up with you soon. Alright, sounds good. Alright, shall we just explore a little bit, see what we can find? Apples in nature. Love just seeing the Pokemon around. Oh, let's grab that. Can we go into any of these houses? Nah, that's the one thing I, you know, was a bit disappointed about with uh, Scarlet and Violet. You've got all these, like, cool houses. You just can't go in most of them. Whee! Little slide. I have so much fun like picking up everything. The little like collector of me just wants to go and pick up every little nook and cranny I see. I thought we should just go inside though. Oh. So this way everyone. Uh, Hayden, how are you one for uh, fetching the caretaker? Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now too. Alright everyone, this is the community centre. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out this space is going to be all for you. Our visitors from the Naranjo Academy. Alright, oh, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So in you come, don't be shy. Oh, I thought those two kids would be from Blueberry Academy, but guess not. So come on everyone. Pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, uh, just try to rinse off the worst of the mud using the washing station by the door. Look at the is that like a little chingling? Like, what is that, like two carrots? And then, <laughs> oh, it looks kind of nice, but nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. So this here is the lounge, you can watch TV, chat or relax however you like. And well, let's see. Over there is the cafeteria and toilets will be down that way. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. We've got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. Oh, nice. Fancy. So I think that about covers everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. Alright kids, do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? Uh, thanks for having us. Thank you for having us! <laughs> what a bunch of well-mannered students. I can only tell you're going to be uh, wonderful visitors. So, you just uh, think of this place as your own home away from home and relax. You must all be tired after such a long day. That's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner, then call it a night. We've got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you've bought your appetites. All right, absolutely. Looks so out of place with my teal hair, but <laughs> thanks for dinner. So you're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center. But remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. Okay. So anything we can do? 
Got a big like staircase there, got some... Oh! There's a video showing off uh, some of Kitakami scenery playing on the giant screen. Oh, is that the, um, Isui and Growlithe? Ooh. So the food here seems really healthy, but it was still really tasty too. Man, healthy food can be tasty. It's got a door with Pikachu on it. Uh, that's the girls' restroom. Boys' restroom. Hey, yo, welcome. So welcome, my dear Paldean student. Provide a special service to visitors here at the Kitakami Community Center. If you've opened your bag and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that the theme of the upper and lower borders of your screen is some menus now changes, depending on your location. Do you want to change the settings for the upper and lower borders on your menus? Uh, no, I'll leave them so they match my location. I didn't even notice. So, bag. Oh, wow, okay. I like that. I actually like that quite a bit. I never actually, I, I wouldn't be able to remember what the other ones look like, but to be fair, yeah, that looks cool. Do you enjoy the taste of our local Kitakami fair? That's all right. What's up, kid? Yeep. I checked out my room and there was a bug Pokemon in there. A bug Pokemon, eh? Call it a night? Yes. Can we check out our room? Do, 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 do. So everyone's here. Morning everyone, did you sleep well? Start today, you'll be joined by our two- Oh no, they are from Blueberry Academy, I thought they were from here. Unless they maybe they're at Blueberry Academy, but they grew up here? But go on kids, time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet you all, outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea. <laughs> uh, I'm Kieran. I love his hairstyle. I wish I could get that hairstyle for my character. But Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here. Yeah, so ask them for help if you need anything. And you two had better be of real help. You hear me? Aye, aye. <laughs> right. Now that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you. This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll have you uh, split into pairs. Then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folk tale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about of our home. To prove you'll complete the task, we'll ask that each pair take a, a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the uh, three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. Learn all about its rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on and on, eh? Wonderful! What an innovative uh, idea of a group activity. Oh, I've got a gift for each of you as well. Oh, a gift, eh? The roto stick. Okay. Oh, it's a selfie stick. A stick uh, to arrest a roto phone on. It allows you to take selfies from a little bit further away and you could on your phone. Could on your own, even. So press the X button while in selfie mode to use your roto stick. The roto stick adds some extra distance between you and the camera. That's cool. I hear these things are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you uh, take those photos. Or even teach you a rad pose I came up with, all on my own. And the Eureka emote. Hey, okay. Ah, yes. Real rad. <laughs> um, gotta say, she's got really cool eyes. Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. Seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. Oh. Guess me and Kieran? If I get to choose, I'm picking Kieran. Don't want to be like Carmine Slave. Uh, Yo. Aw, oh, man. Oh. Guess I'll be with you then. So you're Hayden or whatever, right? Let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us poor, lonely, blueberry students? Uh, No. <laughs> no, of course I do. Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. What will we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all uh, googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, what are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, what do you call dummy, if you know what's good for you? <laughs> oh man. So look at him, being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. Same. 
He'd probably never uh, work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. Oh yeah, absolutely, sure. Well, so what do you know? Turns out you're sorta of nice. This is making my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. Hayden says they'll battle you. What? What? Wowzers, really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else, clear out. Make some space. Yeah, I got this. You don't got this. Alright, here we go. Got a sentry, eh? I gotta say, with all these like Gen 5 like references and stuff, and then we know like Dorodon's gonna get evolution, looks like the uh, the bridge from Unova. Uh, was it Drifelf Bridge? Man, I really hope we get a uh, Gen 5 remake. Or even like a, just a remake, like a sequel would be kind of cool. Or even like a um, like a Legends, like Kiram, that would be cool. Anything, I don't, I don't really mind. I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> uh, let's go for a graph, why not? Let's go chat a little bit. Uh, Gen 5, easily my favorite generation. Dude, I love Farigaraf. Just love giraffes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let's go for a nasty plot then. And you're gonna come up and hit me. This is a little bit of damage. All right, uh, Twin Beam. Bang. Twin Beam, more like Single Beam. Love the battle music. That's the one thing you can never knock Pokemon about. Every game's got banging music. Uh, yeah, let's go, Sarah. Let's just go for a bit of blade. Didn't really want to stand against the Yanma, just in case. I mean, at the level difference, I, I, I'll be absolutely fine, but it's just in case. I really wish this game had like level scaling, like, or the DLC at least. Because it's been almost a year since the game came out, and you gotta, you gotta think everyone would probably be finishing the, you know, the main story, or close enough, or if like, you did finish the main story, you'd be around 70. I just feel like if the DLC right now was 70, at least, or level scaling, that'd have been good. It's got a lot of weaknesses, yeah you do. Having two Pokemon is one of them. <laughs> nice. Oh, Sarah is just such a cool Pokemon. I, I said to myself, I'm never going to buy any more Pokemon plushes. I've got too many. And then they released a Sarah Ledge Pokemon plush. And I was like, I have to buy it. 100%. It looks so good. Wowzers. <laughs> Haven't seen someone say wowzers in a, in a very long time. Good show. Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Absolutely. But wowzers, you sure are strong, Hayden. I try. You're really not half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know? I don't know about that. This orienteering thing, we're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair it with Kiki then. But what? No, sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other uh, rando outside of, instead of uh, Hayden? <laughs> well, no, but, oh man. Yeah, you can get the kid that gets, like, motion sickness. You don't want him. But don't worry, he's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with too. Watch out for my little bro, you. I'll try. Looks like you've all paired up. So let's go ahead and uh, mark where you'll be going on those rodent phones of yours. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or pokeballs or the like, head over, uh, head on over that away and stop by Peachy's. I'd be happy to set you to right. Okay, sounds good. Looks like uh, we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the apple orchids on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure it might uh, make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just uh, get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you from a safe distance. I mean, it'd be fine to walk together, but whatever. <laughs> So let's try this uh, selfie. How do you do the photos again? I think it's 
down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can make music while taking photos of the camera app by pressing ZR, ZR or ZL. Give it a try, you may find that Pokemon you let out of the Pokeballs react to the music. Oh, okay. How do you send out a Pokemon? It's that. And then we press this. And then we press... How do you get the selfie stick? Ah, there you go. And we're gonna just... Come here, Zorak. <laughs> so what's the new emote we got? This one. Yeah. <laughs> and... Nice. Okay. Let's go and find this first signboard, shall we? Got a bit more of the village to explore. I'm not sure if we can go into the, inside the houses. Just judging by Scarlet and Violet's, like, you know, main cities, you couldn't really, um... Uh, couldn't explore most of them. So we'll see if we can. Let's wish we can go inside, you know, just talk to some people, find some side quests or something. Can I run up there? Can I jump on Coridon yet? Oh, I can now! There you go! Hey! Nice, I was thinking maybe I won't be able to actually use you. Everyone's probably thinking, like, what is that? Ooh! <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, let's see. So we want to go... This way? Yeah, so we're going to Loyalty Plaza. Actually, maybe it's a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, it didn't seem that big when you look at it like from like this. But when you zoom in a little bit, it's a little bit bigger than I thought. That's good. Right, so uh, got Apple Hills and Loyalty Plaza. So we're definitely going to get like a Appling around app around a, a Appling Apple Hills, right? So that way we can get the new um, evolution. However you get it, I don't know. I've got to assume one of these is going to be a fake apple. Ah, there you go. Make sure like no shiny one or anything. Looking for a green apple. It's another easy to find. Uh, I'm going I'm to catch one, don't worry. I'm just going to make sure there's no shiny. After getting that shiny Shinx, I feel like my luck's just good. Ooh. Yeah, we'll go for you. Just glowing. Your bug? Yeah. How to catch wild terror Pokemon. Need to raise his HP to break for his transformation first. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, let's go a bit of malice. That was easy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's not go for the master ball. Go for an ultra ball. Don't know what I'm use the master ball on. Probably save for the next DLC and just use on whatever like mythical legendary Pokemon comes out. All right, so we've got Applin. So I'll add to the team, and uh, who should I replace? Add to your party. Who should we swap for? Ooh. Hmm. Sorry, Luxray. Do love my shiny Lux Luxray, but I'd rather use like the new Gen 9 Pokemon. And obviously Hasura and Zorak, it's just one of my favorite Pokemon. Got to be used. So I'm gonna keep going through here. Hopefully we can find out how to evolve this as well. Oh, got a TM. Let's grab that. Nice. I saw a problem with us as well. Hope 
on the lookout. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a box of apples. I thought it was like a giant gift box then for a second. Oh, don't want to fight your bell sprout. How do you kill him again? It's just like, yeah, like that. Nice. Kill him! Kill him all. Got a rest. What's that? Oh, it's just a swaddle. Lots of swaddles. Oh, so we're going to tell you which Pokemon are and are not in a base game. So obviously, like a like with Sword and Shield, the DLCs bring back a lot of old Pokemon. You got a really cool jacket. Oh man. Because so I get really jealous of a lot of people's outfits in this game because I think they look so cool. Oh, 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 oh no no no! Don't do that. I can still hit it. That's fine. I don't even, like kill it. We good, we good. Uh, C dot. Yeah, let's go. Bit of bleed. I feel like I'm just a high enough level just so I can probably one shot everything at the moment. But it's just in case. Don't want to be a fragile, fragile little Pokemon get taken out. Yeah, as I was saying, like the um, the outfits of the characters in this game look so cool, and then we have to just stick to the school uniform. I mean, sometimes I think they look alright. And then I see like that jacket, I'm thinking, oh man, I'll definitely wear that jacket. 100%. Be a delinquent. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> right, so. We are just going over here. Where do we want to take a picture? Is that the signboard right there? So, Loyalty Plaza. So that's the first signboard. I wonder if anyone's actually translated the uh, the text. They can like translate it, but sorry, did I startle you? Uh, I did mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. Like that text there. I wonder if someone's actually translated and can actually understand what each like symbol means. But we're supposed to read the signboard, right? Yeah. I already know the uh, whole story, so uh, go ahead. You should check it out. I guess we'll translate it ourselves, but. Kind of course, someone can work out which each uh, symbol means. But long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezendipity all happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, the Loyal Free. Their remains uh, were given a proper, bur proper burial and status of the uh, free were erected from above the site. The Loyal Free monument is right over there. But don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? Uh, yeah, it sure does. Right? I knew you'd get it. It was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself. Wowzers, that's so cool. Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountain so many times at night, all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone, could you? I do not have a smartphone, man, it's 2023. <laughs> nice. That turned out great. You're even good at taking photos, and you are terrible at taking photos. Or, like, posing for photos, I should say. Uh, you wanna try? Oh, no, I didn't mean... Uh, maybe next time. You know, I didn't want to have to come do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown, and talk to you, Hayden. Hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Oh, oh, there you go, you've gone and done it. <laughs> what is that thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? Kaiju? This is Koridom. 
so this is my ride. <laughs> Don't mention sandwich around Coridon. It's called Coridon, and you ride on it? Huh. Never seen another Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? <laughs> Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Hayden. You're you're so special. So the next, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Uh, Kitakami Hall is, well first double back to town from here. Then there's this bridge across from there. You'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. <laughs> yeah, no sandwich for you. Not right now anyway. Okay. Anything around here we can check out? So we've done the signboard. Now we can oh we can fly back here. So there's the uh the statue, the free the are they legend would you count yeah, legendaries, right? I like the um uh the Pheasant Dippity. The other two, I mean Okie dokie, I think it's, yeah, that one looks okay. And uh, the other one, eh, it's alright. Nothing to write home about. Now I want to quickly go over here. Is there anything behind the waterfall? Playing uh, lots of RPGs, every time you see a waterfall, there's usually something behind a waterfall. Alright. Anything behind? Nope, no behind the waterfall. Big sad. Just had a check, just in case. What we got up here? We got Heracross. We got Stantler, we got Rhodes. Cricket, so, okay. And anything down by the uh, the water here? Oh, is that the place already? We got TM. Bite. Let's grab everything we can get. So let's look at the map. Where are we going? We are going... Oh, quite far. Anything to check out on the way? That's Oni Mountain. Hmm. Got a little area over there, but... Like, no name location. I can just still check it out, though, just in case. Find some cool stuff. Oh. Nope. Try to pick up everything we can find on the way. Now that gets some TMs as well. For us not. Let's go need some TMs. Kinda lacking. Alright. Oh, because my original playthrough was on Violet. But the only thing I keep doing this every single time. Uh, let's run. Like make an Australian account to uh, get the game a little bit early and then just forget the login details because I've got set up a new email address and it's like oh go into your email to get the stuff and I'm like I don't remember the email I made but I mean another Australian account recently and I've made sure I, uh, I've written it down in a safe spot so I remember the email address because uh, yeah if you forget the email address you can't get into the oh I can't go that way can't get back into the account and you lose all your data. Lost my Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee stuff. I oh. Ooh. Lost my original sword. Although, clearly, I played Sword and Shield a few times, so. It's all good. Let's just run away. So, I do love the music. The music's great. Alright. Anything else? Anything else? Mm, ooh, TM. I want to assume to probably evolve Applin, we're going to need some like candy stuff, right? Maybe like some sugar to put on it. So it looks like they sold them at the festival? I want to see from the picture I saw. Oh, is a little cave there? Hey, oh. Anyone home? Oh, you got an Don't bite me. See for full heal. I like these little caves. 
Oh, we got another waterfall there. Oh. Do you see Ekans? Intimidate me all you like, I'm just gonna run away. Level 64 though, levels are getting higher. So we might be, if, if we like maybe get a little bit further into the island, we might get, you know, be a decent level. We might be level 70 and stuff and we don't have to worry about being over leveled and destroying everything we see. What have we got here? Oh, it's a poly, oh, look at poly while swim. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a polywall swim before. It looks so cool. Oh. You are a... Ooh, what type is that? Oh, oh it's fighting. Fighting. Fist. Uh, yeah, it's got a bit of malice. Still very unsure on all the... Um, what the crystals are. Like I said, I've only played through Scarlet and Violet each once and then once I finished the game that was like that was it like I, so I jumped back in a few days ago to get ready for the DLC I also got Mewtwo got the Mew uh, mystery gift cool Mewtwo Mewtwo was really hard to beat man was not expecting it to be that difficult get destroyed Poliwell it looks so cool in the water though I like that all right Anything behind the waterfall? There's got to be something, surely. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm just climbing the waterfall. Oh, what? What? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened there. We got our bug man. I legit don't know what happened. And the game was like, you can't can't go this way, so we're just gonna send you back. Alright, so Revelers Road. I wanna go down a little bit just to make sure we don't miss anything. So yeah, we would have come this way. Gone around. So we're going to cross down there, didn't we? Whee! Are we all good? After, like, I tell, I'm telling you, like, once... I uh, get that shiny Shinx, um, I think it was like two days ago. Just randomly finding it. It just now make me want to just check every little nook and cranny. That was my first shiny in this game. And now I'm just like, I feel like if I just keep seeing a, whole, like, a big horde of Pokemon, if I just look around, I might just find another shiny. It's one of the things where I was like, I said to myself when I get when to go catch, catch another cadet to get good level Cereal Edge for this DLC, I was like, you know what, I feel like I want to find a shiny. Not for, actually thinking I was going to find a shiny, but a little, little thought I might. And I did. And now I just got the same again. Anyway. This is a big area. Looks really cool. Uh, soon. Soon what? So we're going to Kirikami Hall. Not long now before the big festival starts again. Oh, maybe this will be where the festival gets held. I can see like all the stands being like set up here. The Sui and Growlithe statues look pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is definitely where the festival's gonna be. See anything? Oh, there's the masks. Hey, almost done. Can I have a mask now? Uh, okay. Can talk to her, but nothing happens. It just freezes the game for a little bit. So maybe here, if we come back here when the festival starts, maybe we can get the evolution item for Applin. I'm gonna assume. Oh, that's a cool jacket. Oh, let's just uh, jump over. Oh. Grab this. Fig tears. Whee! Alright. Where's the never signpost? That bit to the left. 
Yeah, this place is going to be so cool when it, you know, the festival starts. Well, it's that dude, the caretaker. So welcome to Kitakami Hall. Uh, we're glad to have you here. Relax and enjoy yourself. I'll try my best. Alright, let's grab that. Got to repeat ball, and then we should just interact with the signpost. Kieran, where you, where you at? So that's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? No, it was pretty easy, but sorry, I'm following at a distance, so I uh, let me get used to me showing up like this. That's fine. Now then, let's read the sign. So the ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. Oh, four masks? It said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgelage would change. Uh, when wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. Oh, cool. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ashen grey mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they rested away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Do you think the, um, the legendary can get more masks then? Or do you think it's just going to have the one that we've seen? But did you read it? It's be cool in different forms. The masks the loyal three stole are kept over Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. I like the look of it as well. Assuming it's the, obviously the mascot from the DLC, but it was strong and cool and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that, ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. My sister sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger, so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm going to become some someone people can rely on. Then, just maybe, I could be that ogre's friend. Oh, um, right, picture. I'm supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one too, if you don't mind. Oh, you can do it if you want. Hey, you're getting a little bit better at posing. Okay. Whew. Knew it was the right call to let you handle it, Hayden. Now, onto the next signboard. Oh, and you know the mountain the stories say the ogre lives on? It's actually Oni Mountain. The, um, you can climb it from the stairs over there. If you wanted, we could we could go see the ogre's home. Folks call it the dreaded den. I want to see it. Yes, I really want you to see it for yourself. So, if you keep climbing, you'll reach the infernal pass. There's a sign before that. If you turn that the sign, you can get to the dreaded den. So I'll just head up on the, head up on up. Uh, come along when you're ready, and be careful. I'll try. No promises. All right. Oh, let's grab this. What do we got? Helping hand. All right. So we are going. Yeah. Now this way. Double checking it. Is it just forward? Yeah. Kind of wish like, I had a kind of a little marker on the mini map. Ooh. Hey, okay, growl if. Gonna grab every little thing we can get. So, only is more. And this way? Are we climbing up? Yeah, I feel like we want to keep going up. That slash is pretty cool. I also feel like maybe I want to go that way. I feel like we're going to be climbing up. So I'm going to keep going on the mountain. Let's see what we can get. Ultra ball. More balls is nice. Just in case we can try and catch like these free loyal Pokemon and then the ogre as well. I'm not sure what the ogre's called. Oh, maybe that den there? This will lead us to it? Oh, TM, TM, TM! Crunch! Yeah, boy. 
Not actually that bad. Nope, just another TM, but I'll be taking all the TMs I can get. I'm not sure if this if it's uh if it's uh, swine up, just wanna Okay. No, oh, there's another one. I'm not sure if it's this DLC or the next one, but isn't that supposed to be like new moves as well? I thought they revealed new moves recently. I just uh oh, go around. Aha! You fools! You left your candy unguarded. And I took it. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. Oh, only mountain still. We'll just keep climbing up. Raid down. Oh, it's a strong one. Just curious. What? What is this? It's a Snorlax. Yeah, I don't want to be doing a Snorlax raid. Is this the way? Yeah, to the dreaded den. Danger! Do not enter. So what you're telling me is I should enter. 100%. Ooh, almost fell down there. I mean, it's a cool looking path. I mean, to be fair, this is, yeah, this is pretty dangerous. You could easily just fall down and, um, yeah, you ain't got a Pokemon that can just let you fly, you're probably gonna fall down to your death. You okay, buddy? Did you have trouble getting across that narrow path? No, it's alright. So there it is, the dreaded den. It's supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battling going on. You wanna fight? Oh yeah, I think I've gone a bit stronger since the last time we battled. So, you know, if you wanted to, we could battle. Let's do it. All right, though, uh, we should heal up our teams first. Now I'm pretty healed. I'll be fine. But you got stronger after a day. <laughs> so I'll give it all I've got. I've got this. I feel like already his like confidence is slowly coming back. Well, I say coming back, like coming to. Reminds me of like a few characters kind of mixed together. This time, I'll put up a good fight. Let's hope so. Uh, I'm going to just switch, because I can't really hit you with nothing. Let's go Meow Scarlet, I haven't used you yet. I do love the music. He loves using Dig. The second time he's used it on me now. Uh, guess I'll just go for our home claws. And then get hit by this, which will do like no damage. And we'll go for our flower trick. Bam! Got that snap. It's all good. Whoa, that attacked me in my heart. Skip a beat. Careful, dude. Don't want you dying out here. <laughs> Already had one kid that almost didn't make the trip to this place. Uh, oh, yeah, I probably should switch, but we might be alright. I mean, actually, I don't think I've got the move to really do much. Let's go for a Night Slash. Oh, I should be able to take it out. Yeah. So what brand new Pokemon did you capture? Poliwhirl? Okay. Is it the Poliwhirl I took out? Just follow me. Oh, you're not going to catch that Poliwhirl? I'll do it then. <laughs> Flower trick. Bam. Easy peasy. Critical hit. That was just one attack. Oh, man. There's so much damage. Yeah, man. My attack's up. Super effective. What'd you expect? So this ogre appears now. Oh man, I lost. Thanks for the free money. I knew it. You're really strong. How am I ever going to be able to beat you? 
you know. <laughs> if the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure it'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. See, my school, Blueberry Academy, is a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was as strong as you, maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Let's go have a look at the ogre's den. Yeah, man, that looks fun. Oh. <gasps> so, watch your head. Yeah. Oh, bit disappointing. See how dark it is in here? And cramped? Even the floor's all rough and uneven. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room in our house, and I would have totally let it stay with us. You're a sweet kid, Kieran. No, 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 I'm not. I've just always liked the stories about the ogre, that's all. But if the ogre really did show up and stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. Is this just Shrek? <laughs> Stay out of my den! <laughs> well, no way. The sun's already gone down. I guess we'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of the Masks over at Kitakami Hall. It's the big event where everyone puts on masks and run around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you've got to go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out. Well, it'd be fun. Yeah, let's go together. Yeah, why not? Be great to go together. There's just a few things we'll have to get ready first, so we should swing by our, uh, swing by my house before heading to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of the village. It's um, let's see. I could maybe draw a map. Oh, oh, your road from phone is that has a map in it, huh? You want me to register it on your map? Yeah, then give it a try. Wowzers! Sure is handy having a map that shows you everything right there on your phone. Gonna ask if I can get a road on phone someday too. Yeah, definitely pretty good. But uh, I'll be right behind you. If you want to head to my family's place first, see you there. Okay. Alright, well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we're gonna head to Kieran's house, which is... Uh, ooh. Oh, just there. Pretty easy to get to. Could just probably fly there. Well, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.